Hey guys, welcome back to another video. So this is day 19 of the Try Hack Me Advent of Cyber 2022. And this is going to be talking about hardware hacking. This is pretty interesting stuff. If you guys are interested in this, obviously, it's definitely a fun little fun little thing to do. Learn about circuitry and analog and, di analog and digital and all that good stuff. So yeah. If you guys are new to the channel, welcome. Please like, subscribe, and all that good stuff. If you're returning, thank you so much for the support and checking out the video. So let's just get into it, right? So kudos to John. John did an awesome video. I love John's videos, and um, you can watch that as well. So I want to cut right to the chase. If we come down here, you know, you can read all about this. John went into details about that. I just want to get really to the, the meat and potatoes, okay? So probing the logic, if we come down and we start analyzing the logic, right? So we can use this tool called Sal, however, Sally, however you say that tool, right? So from the start, you know, you start your machine and you can open up the logic 2.4.2 application. Let's double click on that, as it says here. And we'll give that a moment to open. Hopefully I didn't do a John move in 10 of them. But nope, I think I think I only opened one. So let's go ahead and give that a moment. It should load, and then we can open up a capture. Just like it says here, pretty much this is what I did. I followed the steps here. It was very, very thorough. So thank you, Try Hack Me. Very, very easy to follow. So thank you. So we'll just give this a moment. So it's going to connect to uh, connect the, the device. So we, now we can go to up to uh, File, Open Capture. And it's on the desktop, as you can see here. Desktop, I guess it is on the desktop. Let's go ahead and double click on that. All right, just because I, I just did it and I wanted to make sure I, I did it before. I looked really, really silly. Just wanted to make sure that I knew what I was doing before. I started hitting record and then I really looked like a bozo to clown. So probably gonna look like a bozo anyway. But this is a new area not an area that I'm an expert in. So, but it was definitely fun, definitely interesting stuff, that's for sure. So this is all the practical aspect. So once we have this open, it's gonna prepare, it's gonna show us all the, the, the digital and analog transmission, the data going, going, going through, the capture that we were able to utilize. Okay, so you can ignore this error, just like it says up here. And ignore the calibration error. So let's go ahead and ignore that. X out of that bad boy. And it's still um, loading the data. Okay. So once that data is done loading, then you can see it right here. Perfect. And as you can see, you can do right control and zoom in and out. All right. So. There we go. Whoa. Okay, cool. Pretty cool. All right. So we can see that, right? So you can see D, D, O, and D1 right here. D, O, D1, which is digital and then analog. So we have D1 and A1 with some, uh, with some data on it. And then if we continue to go down, we can go ahead and analyze some of the... So let's go ahead and do the next part here. So, blah. All right, so now that you can see the digital signal, now I want to take a look at the, the, lo the logic analyzer to read some of the content. So we can click on the analyzer tab on the right. So analyzer tab right here. And then we can see this trigger, right? So now what we can do is let's. Go ahead. How did I just analyze serial? Here we go. Here we go. So once we do that, we can see the channel. We can do channel one right there, and we can change it to 9400, uh, uh, 49, 4800. Okay. 
4,800 there, and everything else is by default, right? So everything else stays the same. Let's go ahead and hit save there, and we can see that. And then we can hit the little terminal right beside. And on the data, we have this little this data table, and then we have the terminal. Okay, so let's go ahead and hit terminal, and we can see here the command command x one nine five. Uh, 837 and then the baud rate of 9600 okay as you can see here and now as you said you know this doesn't mean anything yet so what we're going to do is add another one right so let's go ahead and add another one we can just go ahead and click up here add all right so now with this one So now with this one, we're going to go ahead and do All right, so we're going to do uh, serial zero. Second one, right? And then we're going to do 46, All right? Let's just leave it the same. All right, so now we get some some fanciness, right? So now if we continue going down, you know, once added, click on the trash icon. All right, so now we can come down here a little bit more. So what we're going to do here is change some of the values. So let's go from 9600. Let's go ahead and just right click on here. Edit. Let's go to 9600. Right. Save this. All right. So now with that change, if you can come down here, all the way at the, the bottom, we can see this flag. Try hack me. Or THM hacking hardware is fun. It was pretty fun for me. I enjoyed it. It was different, that's for sure, but I definitely had a, a joy ride doing it. Okay, so now we can come down and start answering the questions, right? Number one, what device can be used to probe the signals being sent on electrical wire between devices? That's a, a, a logic analyzer, right? So US, I want to put, I want to say US art, okay? US art is faster than SPI for communications. That's nay, because SPI is faster. And uh, USR communication uses fewer wires and, and SPA, yeah, it does. That's for sure. Obviously, we learned it through here. USR is faster than uh, IT, I2C for communication. Nay, it's slower. Uh, IT, I2C uses more wires than SPI for communication. Nay, SPI is faster than I2C for communication, yes it is. And what is the maximum number of devices that can be connected on a single pair of I2C lines? It's a 1008. And then what is the new baud rate that's negotiated between the microprocessor? We just changed that to 9600. And then this is the flag that we got down here. And that pretty much concludes this video this was a pretty interesting one. I really enjoyed this. And uh, let's go ahead and terminate this now. And I want to say thank you for thank you for these try hack me. This is awesome. Look at John right there. Cool guy. And um, this is day 19, task 24. And then tomorrow we'll resume again and continue the fun. Thank you so much, folks, and have an awesome day and happy holidays.